Welcome to my CD collection, today the letter M. Starting off with something which is called Maartse Buien. This is a Dutch CD, a double CD with all kind of cabaretier. Is that the correct word? Performers doing songs of themselves. Most interesting, well the music is very good but it's all in Dutch. But interesting is that everything was recorded with old fashioned tube equipment. This is Michael Franks. This album is called The Art of Tea. He has a bit of a slow voice. I don't know how else to subscribe it, but this is wonderful music. I set it from some other CDs for the perfect Sunday morning disc, but I believe this in my collection is the perfect Sunday morning disc. And because of that, I picked up whenever I run into them for cheap, I pick up the rest of his CDs. Now none, none of these, if you ask me, get close to the quality of this one, The Art of Tea. So if you want to try out some Michael Franks, make sure to start with The Art of Tea. Over here we have Maxwell, two CDs, Urban Hang Suite. This is nice electronic, ambient, a little bit of everything, nice beat, um, nice music. Yes, so here we have a little stack of Madonna, um, as you can see. I grew up of course with Madonna, I think a lot of their albums are not very good, but some songs are really, really very good. Recording quality mostly is very good. Um, and for 75 cents, I'll pick up as many as I can. So these are the ones that I picked up throughout the years. And well, this is the one of course closest to my heart. And this one also, because of when I was young, I listened to those songs. Another one from that period when I was young is Meatloaf, Bad Out of Hell. Of course, we all know this album. If you don't, make sure to check it out. Uh, Paradise by the Dashboard Light was of course one of the highlights in those days, but more of those are. Um, this is probably the most hardcore CD I have in my collection, but I love it. Then we have Marvin Gaye. What's going on? Yeah, something we should ask ourselves, could ask ourselves at this very moment again. His famous album describing, asking, questioning what is going on in the world. Here we have two of Martika. Actually, because I thought this was another artist, I picked up these two and listening to it, um, this is very 90s, too many synthesizers, too many uh, drum computers, but you know, there is a little bit of energy in there. It's not the total waste. This is another one of those CDs that I pick up in the thrift store because I think, well, this looks interesting. It says she has a very nice voice and she has a very nice voice. The recording is pretty good. The music is not too interesting. So there's one thing I have to say. When I say not interesting, I mean like in lounge music, a lot of the CDs look alike. They all more or less sound the same. That's what I say. Uh, it is not interesting. It looks like a lot of others. I like it when somebody has his own style or the music has something that is a little bit more than what all the others do. That's what I say, what I mean when I say it's not interesting. And it is, of course, not interesting to me. Next one, the Marquis, the Platinum Collection. 
For those of you who know, who remember uh, The Young Ones, the British TV series The Young Ones with Rick Mayall, the opening song is the first one, late night, uh, last night here on, the, on this CD, the first number. What I think of this album is that all these songs, they start wonderful and then they become a bit repetitive and a bit boring. But the opening scenes on all these songs is absolutely perfect. Here we have some Macy Gray, the long and tall Macy Gray. Wonderful music. This is something that is only interesting for Dutch people. This is Maarten van Rosendaal. He was a cabaretier performer and his voice, his style, you may think of maybe a Jacques Brel, something in that area. I've been to his concerts so many times. This is a great performer, but only if you're Dutch. Mary Wells from Motown. Um, Bye Bye Baby. You might recognize some of these uh, songs. And what can I say about it? This is, this is typical Motown. And of course we need some Miles Davis, uh, Las Ascenseurs pour les Chevaux. This is a track for a movie. This is interesting, this is jazz. This becomes a little bit more difficult every now and then. Um, some more Miles Davis. And I see I have misplaced, but probably because I mostly have these on uh, vinyl. Uh, the most wonderful album of him is of course Kind of Blue and I don't know why it is over here um, but Kind of Blue is the oh ta-da Kind of Blue I don't know why I put it over there but Kind of Blue is the album that got me into jazz this is what they call hard bop and this is the perfect album here we have another Dutch product, 2 meter sessions, 2 meter sessions, volume 2 and volume like this, volume 1. This is interesting, a Dutch DJ who has invited all kind of well-known artists and have them do some special editions of their songs. So we have uh, Melissa Etheridge, Alita Adams, Los Lobos, Bruce Cockburn, Bob Geldof, Rory Block. What do we have here? Dave Stewart, Crowded House. If you like some of these uh, artists, make sure to check out the two meter sessions because the recordings are very good and the covers are always very interesting, very nice. Moby 18, some electronic music, nice to give your subwoofer a workout. Matilde Santing, another Dutch lady with a beautiful voice. Close watch. Check out Matilde Santing, she has made some very nice CDs and her voice is wonderful. Here we have Madeleine Peru. Madeleine Peru. This was the first album that I picked up from her. And it has some. I don't really know how to describe this. Let's say uh, singer song music with a very nice vibe in it. Madeleine Peru. Try it out someday. And of course, MC Hammer. Can't touch this. Massive Attack, no need to explain what this is. Melody Gardo, wonderful voice, wonderful music, very well recorded. And she is standing next to the Moldy Peaches, terrible recording quality, but this is people that like to make their music. Where is it? Ta -da -da. Anyone else but you is my favorite on this album. 
and I believe this is also used in a movie with Ellen Page. Well, what is her name nowadays? Manu Chao, Clandestino, you probably know that one also. Midnight, this was gifted to me by somebody. This is blues, but this is blues with too many screaming guitars for my taste. Mercedes Sosa from Argentina. This kind of music reminds me a little bit of uh, Fado, like from Portugal. This is, on all these songs, the recording quality is different. And she has a wonderful, uh, wonderful voice, but you need to like the music. One of my other teenage fandom things, Matt Bianco. I love Matt Bianco, I still do. And something like Matt's Mood was a song that I could, I, I played it on repeat for an hour maybe. I love that so much. And of course, you need to have some Michael Jackson here from the Jackson 5. And of course, his wonderful album Thriller. So those are the letter M in the jewel cases. We have a few left over here in these cardboard cases. This is Michel Sen, and she is singing songs of Jacques Brel. So if you like Jacques Brel and you like to hear those songs with a wonderful woman's voice, this is the one to pick up. And interestingly enough, she is collaborating with Bruno Brel, who is a nephew of the famous Jacques Brel. Here we have May Moore and Lester Quitzau. I don't know. Oh my. This is a wonderful recorded album. And as you can see here, it says two guitars, two voices, and recorded on old school, eight track, one inch tape. And if you look inside, I don't know how well you can see that, but this is the living room where they recorded the songs. Nice music, great recording. Here is the wonderful Mavis Staples from fame of the Staple Singers, of course. And she is a little bit older nowadays, but her voice is still wonderful. These recordings are very good. You look at the track lists. Whoop, yeah, there you are. She is very much into the Lord and she has a voice to go with it. Here we have another Dutch singer, Marike Jager. Um, she sings in Dutch and in English. This is mostly in English. Yeah, this is singer-songwriter that you just should try out someday. Some more Martin van Rosendaal. Some more Martin van Rosendaal. And so we're back at Michel Sen. And with this, we come to the end of the letter M. So thank you for watching and see you tomorrow.